Hey lovelies, it's Ebony and Lennox. She's chilling in her swing next to me. So I'm gonna jump right in because I don't know how much time she's gonna give me. So let's start with the baby shower as you guys probably saw on Instagram. This was such a special event for both Lex and I. It took place on Sunday, December 11th and I was about 30 weeks pregnant here. It took place at the Riverfront Events in Wilmington, Delaware and y'all, this place was just beautiful. The way everything was decorated. Tiffany Chalk from Tiffany Chalk Events, she killed it like i just couldn't contain all my emotion when i walked through that door i just realized like oh my god lennox is really coming just a few quick details about the shower uh we had about 60 to 70 people there and oh my gosh y'all the food was so good we had rotisserie chicken barbecue ribs some flank steak mashed potatoes corn on the cob salad and our package even included two desserts apple cobbler and strawberry shortcake so we didn't have to go too heavy on bringing our own dessert but we did have these little personalized cookies look at them they're so adorable i'm glad we were able to get a few pictures of those cookies before they were gone but alex's mom hosted the games that we played and we didn't do a whole lot of like interaction active games because that's just not what I wanted. I wanted a lot of the interactions to be between the guests and with Alex and myself. I'm just not game heavy when it comes to showers, but we did have some really, really nice prizes for everyone who played. And I had to make sure I shouted out Lennox's auntie squad. Y'all, I have five sisters. From left to right is Gia, Kristen, Alex's sister, Alyssa, if you couldn't tell, I don't know how, look at them, they're twins, Shavaye and Tasha. Let me know in the comments if you have a big auntie squad like Lennox. But yeah, y'all, this shower was one of the best times of my life. I'm so thankful and we are so blessed to have little baby Lennox here. Finally, after our tough year last year, we are just so happy and so thankful for all the encouragement and praise you all have sent our way. Now let's get into this nursery. This nursery took me a lot longer to finish because I was just so indecisive with the furniture, even the paint, everything. It just took me so long to make a decision, but you guys will be so proud of me when you see how it turned out. So this is our second bedroom. This was our guest bedroom slash our little project room slash I don't know what to do with this. Let's just put it in the guest bedroom room. But now it's Lennox's room. So let's take a look. Ta-da! As you can see, the Hello Lennox sign on her door is from her shower. And over her changing table, we just have some bookshelves that include, of course, books and her little stuffed animals and some little hygiene necessities. I'm gonna let y'all know right now, you need shelves over your changing table to quickly grab the little stuff that you always need. And here's the glider. I wanted a light color to go with the room. I know it's pretty risky to get such a light color glider in a nursery, but I scotch guarded it, so hopefully we'll be good. Next up are these pictures from Etsy. I saw the color scheme I saw the affirmations and I thought they would be perfect for her room so I got them blown up through shutterfly.com and then got the frames off of Amazon now this hands down has to be my favorite part about Lennox's room and that's this neon sign it was supposed to be at her baby shower but it got held up in shipping so you guys finally get to see it and i absolutely love this thing she'll have it for years to come she better have it for years to come and i know people are going to ask me where did i get it from my uh, party planner actually got it made for me but there are plenty of neon sign websites online so i'm sure you can't go wrong too wrong at least and i know i just said that the neon sign is my favorite thing but i feel like this wallpaper there might it might be a tie between those two because I love this wallpaper as well. We got it from wallmirror.com. If you use them, get the self-adhesive wallpaper. Just trust me, pay the extra money. Do not try and do it the old school way. Get the self-adhesive. It's so much better. I made that mistake, so you don't have to. Next up is her crib. I got her crib from wayfair.com and her crib sheet I just found on target.com. I had no idea that they had a sheet almost the exact same pattern as the wallpaper i thought it would be too much at first but once i put it on the mattress i was like this is this is perfect and everyone who sees it loves it and was so blown away i was able to find almost the exact copy next up is the giant teddy bear from the baby shower i did not want to keep this thing i thought it was just too big no place to put it but lex really wanted to keep it he is convinced she's gonna love it when she's older and honestly i think she will love it when she's older as well so we just put it in that little corner as you can see there's not much room to get in between the crib and the bed so it's actually the perfect place to put the bear so it's kind of out of the way and not taking up any valuable space 
Okay, next up is my little collage of maternity photos. I just, you know, I had to put these maternity photos somewhere. I didn't want to hide them in an album. I thought they came out so nice. So, of course, I wanted to hang them in her nursery. And we used mixtiles.com to get them blown up and framed. All I had to do was stick them on the wall. Next up is a twin size day bed. We wanted to keep the guest room space in this house in some way because we only have two formal bedrooms in the home. So this is a good compromise and it comes in handy when myself or Alex want to give the other one a break. For example, he had to get up really early this morning so it was beneficial for him that me and Lennox sleep in this room and it also came in handy because the changing table is right there and we could be as loud as we want to be without waking him up. Before I forget, the color on the wall is polo tan by Sharon Williams I wanted a pink color in the room but not like bubblegum pink I just wanted something a little bit creamy a little bit pink still and I thought this came out really really cute you would think finding that sort of a color would be kind of easy but no everything started to look bubblegum pink to me after a while and that's part of the reason why this nursery took so long and in her closet we have some of her clothes of course and a bookcase for her shower we asked that everyone bring a book instead of a card with their gift and she ended up getting a lot of cute books so we decided to put some of those books on the wall and as you can see this nursery is just oh my god I think this is the best thing that I've ever done I love it I feel like she loves it Lex loves it everyone who comes by loves it it's just a perfect little nursery but yeah you guys that's gonna be it for this video I hope you all enjoyed it I did my best to link everything I could in the description box below but in the meantime go ahead and like this video share this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and as always thanks for watching